be beyond action, even personal responsibility. There's Utu. Utu. Yes, 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 yes. There was a, there was a word that went around yesterday about yes. decency, you know. Simpiaro. Simpiaro. <laughs> Did you listen to the hot breakfast this morning? Here's what you missed. Yes, and, and you know, there, there's a law that um, uh, guides and governs how um, uh, 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 parastatal or how advertisement is done generally. Yeah. And uh, as a minister you cannot just come out and say um, from now onwards I don't want you to, to advertise on hot. Th that's a roadside declaration. Mm. And even ESCC came out yesterday saying um, a CS has no powers under the law to make such a declarations because there is a law as long as you have followed the law to yeah. advertise in the nation newspaper. There's a reason why um, uh, um, entity A a will choose to advertise in, in the national newspaper and then entity B chooses to advertise on Radio Citizen. They, 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 they are demographics that are followed. And okay. so you, as a CS, you cannot force and say now that um, I don't have the nature of advertising on the, on the nation. But I read his tweets last night and I was telling myself, yeah. guy, come on, relax. Exactly. You're, you're a CS. This, you know, some of these things, if, if Witumbo was doing them, we will forgive him because um, he, he would want to say that maybe he's a, a junior member of uh, the cabinet mm. because he's just a CS. Right. But this is a CS. A CS in charge of investment. A CS in charge of um, uh, ensuring that companies, op more companies open uh, doors in the country. Um, we saw him celebrating that uh, the, the nation sh uh, shares were going down. How, 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 how on earth can a CS in charge of investment? Be celebrating if a company is uh, um, uh, not performing well. You know, it, um, it it's just been one bland after the other, yeah. one bland after the other. And it, whatever, when he makes news, it, it's not o almost always about his docket. It's just about other dockets. Mm. You remember the, mm. the the day he went to Machakos and, and um, said something about uh, some land there, and uh, Wavinia Ndetu was not amused. And it made uh, uh, huge news. Yeah. And then th there's a day again he made uh, uh, China Square. Uh, it was mm -hmm. again huge news. Mm -hmm. and, and some of these things, I think Kenya Kwanzaa government as a whole, the, the whole company, as uh, the, the shareholders, yeah. they must sit down and decide how they are going to run this country. Because as, as it is right now, it's just one blood after the other. <laughs> and, and, you know, what example does that set? For, for, for a Kenyan, if, if a CS can say that. Um, how safe would the nation uh, newspaper or uh, NTV or even citizen journalist be uh, if he goes to attend uh, Moses Korea's rally? Mm -hmm. There's a potential that um, the supporters are going to turn on the journalists and then uh, we won't be safe. And I think the, the main aim is to intimidate us to silence. They don't want anything negative about Kenya Kwanzaa. They don't want anything um, about the scandals that are potentially happening to be exposed. Mm. But but that can't happen. We'll, we'll do our work. We'll have to do our work. <laughs> well, the edible oil scandal is factual. Yeah. They are, they are, they are you know, traces and, and, and trail of paper that uh, was followed to expose that, uh, to do that expose. And the country is likely to lose over 6 billion shillings. By the way, let's, uh, for those who don't know the, the back story to this, right? Yes. In his first cabinet meeting as uh, deputy president, William Ruto approved a controversial deal that saw private firms import edible oils tax-free, right? That's the, the f that's the first red flag. Uh-huh. Mm. And the deal was approved by cabinet? The cabinet, yes. Right? So firms imported the oil and then sold it to the Kenyan National Trading Corporation, KNTC, at a higher price. And the, 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 the deal when the cabinet was doing the approval was for the KNTC to import. And then now K, KNTC now went and, 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 and um, uh, um, acquired some companies that now uh, imported the, the, the edible oils tax-free. Mm -hmm. And now they sold it to K, KNTC at a higher price. And the companies are, um, are um, associated to very close allies of, of Moses Kuria and, uh, and uh, some of the cabinet ministers. And when this is said, now it becomes, you know, you are, you are not doing what you are supposed to be mm -hmm. doing. That is a fact. From how I see it is that they are trying to intimidate the media into silence. They don't want anything negative um, about, uh, uh, about the government, about the deals they are making, about all other, uh, this other stuff. Because fact is, the, meeting, the cabinet meeting happened fact. Fact is, they, it was approved by the cabinet. Fact. Fact is, uh, KNTC was given that mandate to import the, the edible oils. Mm. Another fact is, they gave to companies that are associated to uh, close um, uh, the, the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa, Moses Kura included. Those, all those are facts. And fact is, we, are, we might lose 
over 6 billion shillings six Kenya shillings. B. 6 billion Kenya shillings. I think it's a it's a it's a very bad time to be in the media uh, at this point <laughs> because when you look at everywhere on social media and even um it's unfortunate that you even see those that are I don't know you say government bloggers. Mm -hmm. All of them have now gone on, on an attack mode. Mm -hmm. If this was another season where maybe we'd be going to the field to do something, you never know what supporters of such individuals mm -hmm. would do because we know what such utterances have done. But um, it's unfortunate that you want to muzzle the, own, the other institution also that is supposed to do the excess checks and, and balances, of course, besides uh, the opposition, besides parliament, because, well, we, we already know how parliament uh, will go. So it's a really unfortunate thing. And I wonder why uh, no action has been taken because as late as 10 o'clock last night, yes, yeah. it was still tweeting. It was still okay. tweeting and, yeah. and, and um, what is this power control that he has that cannot be checked? It's really unfortunate. And Obuya has just listed, you know, the facts that are there. The, the documents are there. Mm. In fact, it's only, I think, one document that we're still looking for to directly link another person. Mm. But for Moses, there's an ally of his that, that uh, um, got the tender. When KNTC would have directly procured from the companies, it was getting the edible oils from in Malaysia and Indonesia. Mm. But they decided to go through companies. So that's first. Six billion shillings that the taxpayer uh, will lose. And also KRA, which is looking for money to fund the budget. Mm. That's why you have to dig deeper into your pocket and do 1.5% uh, of it to, to, cater, <laughs> to cater for other issues because... That 1.5 is not going to the housing program. Of course, mm. it is going to raise money that will be used to implement government programs. So, yes. um, hope heads will roll the same way we saw heads rolling uh, when the issue with the <laughs> poisonous sugar mm -hmm. was uh, was unmasked. Mm -hmm. When we saw what happened in Kemsa, let's wait and see whether there will be an executive order or, uh, or a notice <laughs> from the office of the president. There is. An, in, an, an intention by the Kenya Kwanzaa government to muzzle and intimidate the media into silence. Um, but l l like I, I, I was telling somebody, I would be very afraid if one day if the government then starts praising the media that the media is doing their job very well, <laughs> because then that will be doing completely, will be doing PR. Right. Yes. And, and, you know, they say journalism is writing that which somebody would not write, no, want right. it to be write, want written. It to be written, yes. yes. So if if I'm writing a story on Jeff and Jeff um, is loving that story, then it probably means I'm doing PR for him. Correct. And so if the government um, uh, is happy with us, then we probably will be failing Kenyans. And so I think we will continue doing this. They will continue lamenting. Um, Moi lamented. Kibaki disdained us. <laughs> Uhuru lamented. Akasema gazeli niakufunga nyama. Ruto will lament. But we will be here. And we will write their political obituaries. When he wrote and said any government agency or department that advertises with, uh, for instance, now our, our sister or a uh, competition mm -hmm. nation, uh, somebody will face the sack. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was also uncalled for. There are some reckless remarks that, uh, that come out, whether it's a fit of anger, whether even if it's a message being sent, I think there needs to be some level of control from, from his end. But the noise that has been made has been good. But you know, unfortunately, Sasa, uh, where would that noise go to? The fact is that when we see an expose, we'll write it. Mm -hmm. It will be written. Yeah. Um, the NHIF one um, was, uh, was done by NTV again, yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and it has led to sucking of people, mm -hmm. uh, which means that um, the people have been suspended, which means that the, the expose then I, uh, achieved something. Mm -hmm. And if corruption, we have said over and over that corruption is one of the, our main cancer, cancer as um, uh, cells that we need to root out, then we have to talk about them the effort of and every appreciate the efforts of the, the media that are mm. trying to do such a things. Yeah. But if you try to intimidate us into silence, then you're just trying to say then um, things should be as normal as possible, that we should continue being as corrupt as we can and try to eat for as much as you can when you have the, <laughs> the chance. When you still have your mouth full. And remember, <laughs> the story on even Kebs, mm. it was done by our very own Leto. Mm. Yes. And, we show, and we saw action two days later. Is it that was investigations going on, may or not? But it was after this public uproar, after the story went on air, that we also Even saw that action. Story. So you need to know that we can have a, a symbiotic relationship. We don't need to praise you. We will critic, and you watch out and look, there's something wrong. Yes. And um, I think this, what we saw yesterday, it appears to me it's a necessary distraction. There's work that needs to be done. There's a lot 
that is that is not happening while this issue of the state of the economy or the issues affecting you know the cost of living so may, maybe some are not of the doing of the administration but if the media highlights it it does not mean it is you then what are you doing about it mm. it's like if somebody tells me hey today your eyebrow you know didn't work i'll sit you know uh, let me check and do something about it you know do something about it because um there's there's been a lot of talk about there appears to be a lot of excuses is there a plan is there something that is working maybe they should get something working that will give that will uh, give Kenyans that necessary destruction. But uh, whatever we are seeing here with Moses Kuria is not sufficient to put out to tell somebody, hey, Garama ya Maisha no. Mm -hmm. hey. Speaking of exposed, this NTV investigation that, uh, with the NHIF scandal, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, apparently, some hospitals were submitting fraudulent claims for patients who had never even been to the hospital. And in mm -hmm. some cases, the hospitals were submitting claims for patients who had died. Yes. And you and you you can imagine there are other people who've been trying to get access to that NHIS yes. uh, treatment plan. You know, you try to get you trying to look for somebody, but here is just some unscrupulous facilities. Mm. I don't know what you do to these people. If these people are medical practitioners, doctors take an Hippocratic oath. Mm. What happened to that thing of the calling that people had? Uh, or is it because you get an A, you go and do it, and you're like, I let me let me learn this thing, let me make money. No, I, I think also there's beyond action, even personal responsibility. There's Utu. Utu. Yes, 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 yes. There was, a, there was a word that went around yesterday about yes. <laughs> Bin Adam. Uh, uh, yes, you know, Utu like have some Sin decency, piaro. you know. Yeah. Sin piaro. Sin piaro. <laughs> <laughs> the NHIF scandal just. Um, it exposes the rot in in our society, society. Mm. It's, you know yeah, yeah. and and those are those are not people you who say they are high up in government <laughs> okay obviously they are they are dealing with people high up in nhif mm. because it's it's a, it's a syndicate yeah. uh, jeff there have been complaints for the last three months that people have been going to hospital and nhif has not been remitting uh, monies to <laughs> hospitals mm. and so some hospitals have been saying no we will not treat you if you don't have cash because nhif you're not getting any money here then is a scandal where i come and procure you you know i come in your village and tell you i'm going to treat you then i bring you to nairobi i give you one injection mm. and i, I charge one hundred and fifty thousand shillings. Sure. yeah and 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 that money is remitted immediately while um, a person who is genuinely sick and, mm. and who has gone to hospital is being turned away by NHIF, mm. by that hospital, because NHIF is not remitting that money, mm -hmm. that can only point at an inside job. Yeah. That there are people um, at NHIF that are colluding with other, these other unscrupulous doctors then to um, uh, swindle monies from the NHIF. And, and it's a huge cash cow. It's a huge cash cow. And if, Jeff, you cannot secure the NHIF money meant for patients. If you can't secure that, if you can't ensure that that money then does what it's supposed to be meant to do, then how do you assure me that the 1.5 housing That's levy heavy. is going to do what it's supposed to be exactly. doing? It, it, hmm. it just beats the logic. Yeah. Well, at least you already know the, there's no refund.